All right, welcome to another video, and we're going to start a new unit, um, Patterns and Equations. We're going to be looking at different patterns and actually how we can use patterns in math equations. And so let's just get started here. We've got some, uh, some pictures of some circles, and I'm just going to ask you, how would you describe this pattern? What type of pattern is it? And what is something called a pattern rule for this pattern? get you to consider that for a sec. All right, here's a number pattern. 5, 6, 8, 11, 15, and I put that dot, 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 which are called ellipses. That means, means they go on forever, okay? And you might notice that it goes up one in, in the first term, and the you know, from the first term to the second term, from the second term to the third term. And when I say by term, I'm talking about this is the first term of the pattern, the second term, of the pattern third, fourth, fifth, etc. Okay, so it goes from five to six, it goes up one, it goes from six to eight, it goes up two, from eight to 11, it goes up three, 11 to 15, it goes up four. There is a pattern going on there. Okay, so here's a, a number pattern. And a pattern rule is for this, we start at five and we add one. But each time we add one, we increase by one each time. Okay, so we start at five, we did, we add one. Okay, but each time we add the number, we add one. And you can see it goes up from one to plus two, to plus three, plus four, it's going up one each time. Well, anytime we add one more than we added before, we call that an in increasing pattern. Okay, increasing, it's going up, the pattern keeps going up and up. Um, can you can imagine if it's going down each time, it's probably called a decreasing pattern. Well, to get the next five terms, continue to increase the pattern you add by each one each time. So if we were to continue this, you know, it was at 15, we left off. We have to add five, which gets us to 20, add six, which gets us to 26, add seven, which gets us to 33, add eight, which gets us to 41, add nine, which gets us to 50, and so on. We can use something called counters to show the pattern, and so, the yellow circles are what we started with. We started at five and we added one each time. And so we added a blue one. And then we added two red ones. We added three green, four orange, and five pink. So we're using counters to show, um, so an object to show the pattern. Well, here's another pattern rule. Start at 10, alternately subtract four, then add five. Okay. Now to get the next five terms, continue to subtract four and then add five. So we're starting at 10, remember, okay? Now, if we subtract four, 10 minus four is six. So the second term should be six. The third term, well, we, we then add five. Well, six plus five is 11. So let's see from right. 10, 6, 11, 7, 12, 8, 13, 9, 14, 10, and so on, okay? So we were alternately subtracting, then adding. And there's two patterns going on here, okay? We're adding one on each um, second term, okay? So if we consider, you know, every second term here, that's going up by one, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Well, if we look at the second term, it goes up one as well. And that was going from that decrease, okay? Now, just for fun, remember it's going up five, sorry, subtracting four, up five. Subtract four, up five, it's alternating. So if we went here, 10, that's from a subtract four. The next term, if we were to add, we need to add five, so that'd be 15, subtract four, add five, okay? And so on. All right, I'm gonna get you to try one. For each pattern, what is the pattern rule? And what would be the next two terms? Okay, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17. Okay, remember it's a pattern rule. What are the next two terms? I'm gonna get you to pause there. I want you to think about that for a sec. Okay, well I noticed that it's an increasing pattern. It's going up by two each time. So I'm gonna say the pattern rule is start at five. That's important, you always should say where you start. Start at five, add two each time. Well, the next two terms would be 19, 21. Okay, get ready for the next one. 1, 4, 8, 13, 19, 26, 34. Get you to pause that and then 
we'll go over the pattern rule. Okay, again, we have another increasing pattern. The pattern rule is start at one, okay? Start at one, I'm gonna write this one out. Start at one. And if you notice, it goes up three here, okay? Well, then it goes up four, it's going up five. Oh, it's going up six. It's like our first example, start at one, uh, add three and then increase each time by one, okay? And so remember the next two terms. Well, if this was plus seven, plus eight, I have to go up plus nine. 34 plus nine is 43 plus 10. All right, here's another one. 26, 25, 29, 28, 32, 31, 35. You might notice it's not an increasing pattern this time, okay? So again, what's the pattern rule? What would be the next two terms? Well, the pattern rule is definitely start at 26. I'm gonna write that down. Start at 26. Now, this one goes down one, but then it goes up four. It goes down one, it's going up four, down one. Oh, here we go. Okay, so start at 26, subtract. Actually, we could say alternately. Subtract one and add four each time. Okay, so we ended off with a plus four. We got to subtract one. So the next term would be 34 and we're adding four, so 38. And here's our last one. Three, nine, 14, 18, 21, 23, 24. Uh, looks like another increasing pattern. Again, pause it. What's the pattern rule? What would be the next two terms? Okay, we're going to start at 3. Again, always write that where we're starting. Okay, let's see if we notice something. We're going up by 6 here. Then we're going up by 5 here. We're going up by 4, by 3, by 2, by 1. Okay, now in this situation, we're adding six. Okay, that's six, but uh, add one less. How about one less each time? Okay, um, we're gonna go into something which I probably shouldn't have done, which is, um, is uh, when you go backwards, and, and if you don't know, you're gonna learn this in about grade six or seven, it's called negative numbers. Um, but so if we're going up by zero, that means the next term here is 24, and after zero, we're going to negative one, so we're gonna subtract one, which would be 23. That's kind of a, that's kind of a strange pattern there, it kind of peaks. All right, so to sum up what we learned this time, uh, we're, we're establishing a pattern rule, we're recognizing what is happening, and we're describing it through this pattern rule. And then we're trying to figure out the next, however many terms we've been asked. In this situation, you were asked to find the next two terms. All right, guys, so remember, in life, math happens. Take care.